this is uh, Under the Gazebo Interviews, and uh, our contestant here is uh, Mike Salerno, and he's going to tell us a little about himself. Mike, it's all yours. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mike Salerno at the Jake Lawrence Hour. <laughs> yeah, what's up? Yeah, so uh, <laughs> tell me a little about yourself, dude. Uh, I moved to Crystal Lake in 1993. How old were you? I was seven years old at the time. Uh, went to South Elementary School. Where'd you move from? LaGrange, Illinois. LaGrange? Yeah. What the fuck is that? It's, uh, the western suburbs, kind of by Berwyn, closer to the city, by, like, Brookfield Zoo. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. Do you have, like, any memories of that, or what? Yeah, it was a lot older, the town, uh, than, like, Crystal Lake. Like, the houses were more, like, closer together, not as, uh, like, talking like about new the and Talking about the, uh... The, the bungalows, or? No. Like, mm, what do you mean, bungalows? Are you saying they were, like, more, like, condensed, or? Well, yeah, well, just, like, the houses were older. They were more, like, closer together. They weren't, they're like, called bungalows, dude. Oh, are they? Yeah, they're, they're, they're two-story um, things, and they're, they're all, like, you know, kind of connected. connected. Oh. But they're still, like, houses. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll cut that out. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Sorry, so. No, yeah, but they were older. Just, like, the town was older. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like, residential districts. Right. It's like the newer houses are all like spaced apart. And right, right. It's all new. Yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I moved here. Why'd you move here? Cause my dad's job. What did he moved. do? He uh was a businessman and he sold circuit boards. Circuit boards? Yeah. Cool. For like computers or? Yeah, for like anything. Just wow. a lot of like electronics. Like yeah, they made circuit boards and he was like a salesman for the company. So he moved just like. The, yeah, the company moved to Lake Zurich, but somehow we ended up moving to Crystal Lake because it was closer. And then what happened? Uh, I went to elementary school at South Elementary. Right. I went to junior high at Lundahl. Yeah. And my parents got divorced the uh, summer before eighth grade. So I was like 12, 13. Yeah, how'd that affect you? I don't know. It was, I don't know. Kind of not that great because we were like you know normal middle class like family. After that happened, we kind of became like poor. Not like poor, but like less fortunate. Right. Like with money and stuff. Your mom and you, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, right. And just like everyone in general. So then my dad like lost his job and. Oh yeah. Yeah. So like like as a unit, you guys were kind of tight with you know, financially yeah. and just like all like like overall. Yeah. Okay. Right. So. Yeah. And then like when you're 13 or 12, that happened. Yeah. So yeah, so then like, you know, that happened. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Really? Seriously. Yeah. So <laughs> your parents got a divorce. You um you saw your dad every other weekend type deal or what? Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Or every weekend, every other weekend. Mm-hmm. How was that? It was alright, it was kinda weird. Then he like started getting girlfriends and I guess that was weird at first, but right. I got used to it I guess. Is he a... Uh, did he remarry or? No, I never remarried. Never remarried. No. Yeah. Yeah. Now he lives in Aurora. He lives in Aurora now. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. What about your mom? Uh, she's never like gone on dates or anything. Oh shit. <laughs> so just after dad, she's like, I quit. Yeah. Kind much. of. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, I went to high school at South High School, right. Crystal Lake. Uh. Went to MCC for the first two years of college. Got my associates. Went to the University of Montana for the second two years. Got my bachelor's. So you actually do have your bachelor's. Yeah. That's right, yeah. I keep forgetting <laughs> that. And the economy sucks, so no one can get a job. Your bachelor's in what? Uh, anthropology with an archaeology option. And An option, you said? Is that like, yeah. Is it like a minor? or? Not really. <laughs> so anthropology is divided into four subgroups. There's linguistics, which studies language and, like, the sounds that languages make and stuff. Right. And then there's the cultural anthropology, which studies, like, going to, like, Africa or, like, New Guinea and wild, crazy places and studies other cultures. Right. But they don't have to go there. Like, there's anthropologists that come to America. They go to Europe. They go, cool. like, all over the place. It's all cultures. Yeah. 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 And then what's the... And then there's... The fourth one's archaeology, right? Yeah, well, there's physical anthropology, right. which studies, like, human evolution from, like, apes and monkeys. And then, like, in physical anthropology, there's a subset, like, of forensics, mm-hmm. 
that's where like forensics comes in, like forensic anthropology, right. study like murders and bones and stuff sure. like that. Yeah. And then there's archaeology, which is like human materials from like humans past. Right. Yeah. From humans past. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Like the pyramids or a nail that's found and it's a hundred years old, that's archaeology. Or just like the pyramids or like the right. Parthenon in Greece or whatever. Yeah, so having an option means Means you like are more directed in those like if I had an option in linguistics, right, I would have overall like anthropology, but I'd be like oh, more specifically right. in linguistics. All right. I got so it. I'm more specifically in archaeology. Alright. And so what exactly do you want to do with this again? Uh, be an archaeologist. Maybe get my masters. Your masters? Maybe by like I'm thirty. Yeah. By the time I turn thirty, I'm maybe yeah. You're twenty two? Yeah. Twenty two. My birthday is on Sunday. Uh, yeah. Right, yeah. It's, it's like four days. I keep on forgetting five like days away. I keep on thinking you're like, you know, twenty eight. <laughs> I don't know I don't know why. No. <laughs> it's like some strange thing I have in my head. Yeah. I'll be twenty three. Yeah, what are you doing for your birthday? I have no plans. The last two years is really cool. My birthdays. Yeah. So this year, hopefully, something cool will happen. Oh, that's true. That's yeah. Does that does like Dan and Rob and Joe have anything planned there for you? Or? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Give us a call though. Maybe they can hop on that shit. Yeah. A little strip club. Maybe. <laughs> uh, anyways. Let's keep this G-rated. <laughs> anyways, yeah. So, so does uh, the mic like pick up? Well, just like sitting back and talking. Right now, yeah, it was, and then I had to put this little thing on. Oh, and yeah. There was like some popping noises from the know. wind and stuff. Yeah, or? from the wind. Yeah. So I, I put like this little, you know, mm. condom on, if yeah. you will. Five mics. Right. <laughs> <laughs> to, uh, to you know to destabilize the uh, the noises, yeah. the external noises. Um. Anyways. Yeah. Back to uh. Yeah, back to archaeology. Um. Hold on. Got a cool story or something from it. Yeah, something like that. All right, so, uh, yeah, so my uh, archaeological survey class would be, like, dealt in, like, going into the field, like, what you'll find, like, like what, like, procedures you'll do when you find stuff. So we took, like, a field trip to the Rattlesnake. It's kind of, like, a recreational, like, foresty area, kind of like the Veterans Acres in Crystal Lake. The, the Rattlesnake? Yeah, it's called, like, the Rattlesnake Where Recreation is that? Area. It's right outside Missoula. Well, it's in Missoula. But oh, okay. It's, like... Right. Veterans Acres of Crystal Lake. Right in my family? Yeah. Alright, cool. So, like, yeah, it's like five minutes away. So we went there, and there's a whole bunch of, like, abandoned schools from the 1800s and shit like that. Really? Yeah. So, like, some of my classmates, they were uh, mapping this, like, abandoned schoolhouse. It's just, like, the foundation is left and there's stones. Right. And my teacher told me and this girl, Mac, to go down by the river. There's, like, a little, like, creek river. Just, like, yeah, not really. (laughs) (laughs) We had to go down there and see what like you can find. Uh-huh. So we went down there. So I'm like Montana's like mountainous or whatever. Right. So yeah. I'm kind of like climbing this like you know like a wall of earth like going down to get to this river. And like on my way down, I'm finding these like buckets that are like hundreds of year like a hundred years old and like these nails and like a bunch of like shards of metal from shit. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, that's cool. Like we found stuff down here. My teacher at first was like, oh, I didn't tell you to go over there, but yeah, cool, like, you're finding stuff over here. He, like, meant some other direction. Oh, so you yeah. did, like, the wrong direction, though. Yeah, but we still found shit. But then we found this, like, piece of, like, a school desk. Yeah. It was from Chicago, actually. And it, oh, it, shit, it was dated, like, 1888 or something. Wow, man. Yeah. And so I researched it, like, the company, like, the logo on it. I don't remember what it was, but it was a Chicago company. Yeah. And it was, like, the late 1800s. And they said that there was, like, a shipment that went out to, like, Montana in the West, like, around, like, 1910s, 20s. Right. So, like, they were, like, recycled desks that they went, like, they shipped them out there. So oh, dude, so it's, like, the whole history of, like, yeah, almost, you know, 150 years ago, like, yeah, 100 dude. years ago. That's pretty cool. And you found it, too. Yeah, and as I was, like, yeah, climbing right. down this, like, wall of, like... And your teacher didn't know anything about it? No. I, you, like, you're, like, the discoverer? Yeah, of that, like, less. artifact. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty cool. Like, the first archaeologist to, uh, <laughs> yeah. to, to, to discover it. That's awesome. Yeah. Man. It was pretty cool. Congrats, dude. Yeah. That's pretty sick. So, that's what you want to do, or? Yeah, like, like that, or maybe with school or a museum. What do you mean? Like, uh, a lot of, like, archaeology finds that go to museums to be, like, Cataloged and displayed or whatever. So do so you want to like find them or yeah, catalog them? Well, like I'd work for a museum and like do museum work. Or there's archaeological firms. There's right. one.